I'm watching her fine ass Walked to my bedroom and thought to myself That's the shape of things to come, she said Why in the club you don't make it precipitate You know, make it rain when you can make it thunderstorm I'm like, why? The world needs sun, the hood needs fun So there's a war going on and have the battle What's up, car friends? This is Stu with Really Cool Videos, and this is Steve back again on the channel. I'd shake your hand, but I need both of them for this car right now. We are in essentially a DTM GT3 car. This Z4 is built with a, a real GT3 body kit that costs 20 grand. And really, it's not a kit, it's essentially a, a new body for this car. Everything's been replaced except the doors, right, Steve? That's right. Dude. And we've only gone about two miles and hit about 60 miles per hour, but already I'm almost shaking because this car, it's got about 600 wheel horsepower in the current tune. It's got tons of power. We haven't seen more than 5,000 RPM. I'm slowly building up my courage to get there. But because of this kit and because of the convertible that's been completely removed for a hard top, it's a lot of weight savings. This thing only weighs 3,100 pounds and even less than that when he puts his race seats in. That's true. So this thing, Starts to get squirrely real easy, but because it's got so much power and it's so light, I can't believe <laughs> that you drive this on the street, man. Oh, Tell yeah. me, what are the reactions when people see this on oh, the street? I, all, I, all I see people just like, I see flashing. It's like people just recording. I'm like, hi, just like, just waving on me. And it's like taking pictures, taking videos. Some people, they know me. They're just like on social media, it's like, hey, Steve, we saw you passing by. Like, cool car. I'm like, oh, thank you. But it's not enough that it's super wide. It's got this awesome, colorful race livery, just like you do, man. In your <laughs> yeah. classic style, just like your F80 M3 that we reviewed on this channel. Uh, that was then later bought by a uh, popular YouTuber, um, which I'm sure he watched my video a few times, which basically means we're best friends. So, what's up, Jake Paul? Hope you're enjoying the car. <laughs> this thing is faster than your F80, is it not? Yep. It's a little bit lighter, too, which that yeah. helps a lot. It feels light. Ooh, sounds fantastic. Yep, it got that GT Haas exhaust turbo back, wow. basically from the downpipe all the way in the back. We're gonna turn in here. You want to give me yep. some height? Yeah, yeah, sure. This car has so much going on. You essentially need a co-pilot to adjust certain <laughs> things, <laughs> while the other person can focus on driving. It's got these 
this amazing hood with these nostrils. Uh, and then on the side view mirror, it's, you see the huge fenders that had this like airflow notch in it. It just looks so purpose built. And of course, you got the huge rear wing. Uh, a lot for the eye to see. And then tell me about this steering wheel, man. This is the, I've seen these on the gram. Uh, speaking of the gram, I started my own social media. If you haven't downloaded it yet, please check it out. OG Social. It's like Instagram, but no ads. Chronological timeline. We respect your privacy. Check us out, please. But I have seen on the gram these crazy ass <laughs> steering wheels. It's fun though, dude. It's, it's fun. It to adds drive. to the drama. Yes. Quick summary of the car. It's basically exactly the way it looks. That's how it is to drive. Over the top, crazy, loud. That's how it feels driving it. Yeah, yeah we got to get this thing on the track. Oh, the yeah. Track, proper going. track. Yep. This thing is begging to yep. be opened up. Yeah, finally, I just installed all the cooling system, uh, transmission cooling, Ooh. CSF cooling. So all the cooling system from the oil, transmission oil, everything would be perfect for the track right now. You said you have upgraded turbos, right? Yes, I have pure turbo stage two high flows for this car. Pure turbo? Yes, yeah, sir. Always. Okay, so that was my first time we revved it to seven, maybe six and a half, and that sh that upshift really banged quick. This is a ZF8 speed? Uh, no, it's a DCT actually. Is it? It feels like a DCT. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Second gear, 4,000 RPM. As soon as we straighten out, 5,000. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, bro. <laughs> uh, uh, well, that was a really fun car, dude. Yeah. Um, I'm telling the homies, doing a car review this weekend, man, I was pumped. What are you shooting, Stu? Well, it's a Z4, but but not really. Like, you can't tell people this is a Z4. They don't, they don't get the right idea. This is a straight GT3 DTM race car. What size tires are on the back? Uh, 335. 335s, and it feels like it could use more. in this car. This is not an on and off switch pedal. The power build's really nice. This is the first fast N54 that I've driven. I see why so many people yeah, tune like these the, things. Yep. Yeah, it's a can, really fun engine. Uh, you cannot really go wrong with these engines. And I love it with the DCT, bro. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Damn. The rear end talks to you. It's a small little light car, so you do feel what's going on, which is nice. If the rear end gets squirrely, you can start to feel it and ease out or just keep going. Yep. It does feel like it's got good grip, though. Yeah. Yeah, new tires, basically. Yeah. We've got LSD from M Factory. Oh, nice. Okay. So it's like, yeah. ready to go. It's all like, right, all right. This car has a lot of power. Whew. I'm not going to say too much, but it's got so much that you can rarely exploit all of it. For the little small car. Yeah. Power to weight ratio on this thing is insane. Jesus. Wow, man. Wow, this car is serious. It just wants to go to, through the gears all the way. Yeah. It's just super tight. It is tight, man. It's like you don't feel how, how fast you're going. I like the suspension. You need air with this car because yep. the bodywork is so aggressive. Yep. Huge yep. diffuser in the back. Race cars are not meant to go over speed bumps. So with this type of bodywork, you definitely need it. And normally with air, it can make the car feel a little loose. But nah. no, this has got the KW shocks and kit with this custom air setup, and it really does handle it well. Yeah, I got KW V3s basically, and then got uh, customized air bags from Universal Air, and we use Acura Air for management the air, yeah. the air system. So it's just perfect combo. It costs a lot, but you can't go wrong at all. And it is comfortable. It rides smooth. Yeah. yeah. This is a comfortable car when you're not <laughs> trying to, yeah. to to tame the beast here. <laughs> wow. What a cool build, man. Is, the, is it all fiberglass? Uh, which one? All the, the kit? The, the kit, everything in the kit is a fiberglass yeah. except the roof and the trunk is a full carbon, like a dry carbon. But I had to paint it just to make it look nice. Yeah. And then 
tell me about this wrap, this livery, man. I love, yeah. I love the one on your F80. I love, I love the colorful. Tell me about it on this one. Yeah, this wrap basically I saw on it yeah, on an actual GT3 car. Yeah. So I'm looking at it, I'm like, I need something like people will get an attention. I'm like, oh yeah, that wrap looks good. Let's do this. <laughs> so as you know me, I like to make everything custom different than anybody else. Yeah. I'm like, I went to Revolution wraps in San Diego. I'm like, hey, can you make that happen? He's like, yeah, of course. So it's all hand layers. Um, Everything will be done in the house and he printed it, he finished it for a couple of days. I came back, I'm like, oh my god, this is another that's another dream I was like thinking of to have. It just It's so cool, man. Yep. The body it's the body's awesome, but you might not notice it unless you give it a loud rap like this, like it really does it justice. And yep. I, I love that you just went full boat and like I'm just gonna make it really loud <laughs> in all aspects. Well done. This reminds me of the 700 horsepower E36 with the crazy LS swap. Oh, Ryan, right? And I, yeah, Ryan yeah, Castro. Ryan, yeah, yeah. Uh, love those Ryan. guys. And but it was raining when I drove that thing, and it was so fast. It was like this, very similar power <laughs> yeah. to weight ratio. But I couldn't get into it. Oh, so I'm glad we we're able to do that right now. Oh yeah. Steve, yeah. holy cow. Yeah, of course. Well man. done again. Thank you. Incredible all-around build. This thing, Appreciate your person it. looks beautiful. The, the headliner is nice. This cage, oh man. And I love this special interior with the Alcantara and the stitching and the little stripe down the middle. The steering wheel with this yeah. forged carbon. Yes, that steering wheel was uh, made by uh, Dinman. Dinman. Yeah. Yep, I like Dinman, yep. man. He's yep. cool, dude. Yep. Um, <laughs> Custom made basically for the Custom seat. made. If you want a carbon dildo, you know where to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Didman. Didman.com. All right, guys. Thanks for watching my videos. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell so it'll actually tell you when I post videos. Until next time, have a really cool day. Thank Peace. you.